Today I want to let you know how my first year at my first job as a software developer was, so you know what you can expect from your first job. Welcome to DevWorld, my name is Sam and today I want to break down my first year at my first job. After this video you will know what you can expect or at least what my experience was from my first job. So this might give you a hint what the differences are of what we usually think when we start out as self-taught programmers, how an actual job will be like but what then the actual reality is. So this is the purpose of this video. First, before we go in what, it, uh, what I actually did day by day on this in this first year, I just want to quickly mention what my company does. So the company I work for or the main company I work for, we build websites or we build a whole IT infrastructure for different travel agencies. So we are kind of the service provider for different uh, travel agencies and they all are connected to a website system and an admin system that my IT comp or my IT uh, department builds out. So that's what we are doing. Then before even starting the job in my application, I knew that my role would be primarily front end, so React development slash Next.js development, especially for building components on the website. So a pretty normal junior developer role, you build UI components for the front end. What was very different, what I found out later, is that I actually did way, way more than just building component UI, uh, UI components, but we get into that later in the video. So now let's talk about the expectation versus reality, what I expected would be my first job and what I actually did, which is quite a big difference. So when uh, I was a self-taught programmer or I learned how to program, watched all of these videos like day in the life of a programmer and all of that, my expectation was that I will start in a, in a team, I get uh, a more simple kind of uh, tasks, building out different UI components, building, I don't know, a special card, different sections, out to a whole page and this would be more grunt work, IT development, I just built the, the small uh, components with connected to what this design system of that company is. Um, yes, that was kind of my expectation. I also had the expectation of kind of this romanticized, you go into the, the, the company, they will explain you the Git flow that they're using, on which principles they built their uh, code, you will the first couple of commits or pushes you write um, will be thoroughly checked from uh, with by another developer that you will have meetings that you talk about the intrinsic points of how our code and philosophy is and all of those things but at least in my experience this was completely out of the window what i actually did is i came into the company and i was tasked with um, building out this website so not just the component but actually the whole website with next.js that at the, at the time i didn't know i knew gatsby which is kind of similar but i didn't know next and the page or the, the websites we built were actually quite complex. Some of them had uh, internationalized languages so that we had to uh, integrate language switches. We had to integrate the different uh, language databases than the normal database with the content. So it was quite a complex task and I was just as the new guy tasked to build out this new website system, which was extremely challenging and I had to build out more or less from scratch. I got a code base which I could uh, fork, like copy and paste, but I quickly realized that there was no real design system, ne neither behind one, like the one I copied, and the new one, which has got some PDFs which weren't connected to any design systems that were approved by the different stakeholders, and then we just had to develop them out. But it was not organized, so there were no uh, different variations of that, so I had to figure out myself what could be the different variations. So some of the cards had little tags in the corner, some of them didn't, and I didn't know. So it was quite uh, complex and quite um, uh, confusing, especially in the beginning, uh, working with that as me, the new guy, not knowing the system, not being 100% solid in my code and everything i was just thrown into this situation and i think that will happen to a lot of people of course if you just work in um, coding or in an it agency 
I think things will be more structured, but depending on your company, like mine, mine, the IT department is just one department. It's not the focus of this company. The things that you learn in like these nice little theory lessons, what like IT development should be, uh, a good code base starts with a bulletproof concept, all of that. In companies like mine, that's just out of the window. You will get thrown in the cold water and you have to figure out yourself how things are done, how you should structure things. And then things get messy, at least in my case, in my experience, things get messy. If uh, your company, the main focus is not IT, they might not focus on a bulletproof concept that works with design, the concept itself and uh, the IT implementation. They might have some weird expectations of what you should do or what the, the website should be because they might not be uh, professional web designers. They just have different ideas that may be unnecessary, that may should hack SEO, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really, it just makes the, the code more complex and all of those things. So this is up to you as an IT developer to handle that. You might not have a bulletproof concept like you usually have in your bootcamp or in your uh, tutorial videos. So this was quite a big difference between what I expected, a normal workflow uh, with a Git flow on top of that, your code base have, follows a, a specific philosophy um, tied to the company's philosophy, all of that. That's not at all what happened. I really like that aspect that I had to decide a lot of things myself, but uh, in, in another way, it was very overwhelming because I didn't know end-to-end -end testing. I had to learn what actually that is to reduce the bugs that we had in production. I had to learn Next.js from the ground up in a quite complex system that sometimes we had websites which are language changing and sometimes we had just single language pages and we had to bring all under the same kind of project. And all of those things so um, I just now so this was the, the difference between expectation versus reality I now want to quickly touch what I actually did day by day so what was when I started my day what did I actually do and a lot of it had to do that I had some kind of PDF so not an uh, Adobe XD file where I actually could take out the different margins the font sizes I had to kind of eyeball them to see ah oh, this is a normal paragraph this is probably the h6 and all of that so i got a pdf with that just with the design i had to then figure out myself what could be the different variations of how i knew the system would work then talk to the designer make sure that i got all the different variations so i could add all the right props then i had to decide for myself is this a component a ui component is this a section or how should i treat that then i actually added uh, those components to the best of my uh, knowledge and abilities um, and then yeah hoped that everything was good i gave it back to the stakeholder to check unfortunately the check was not as thoroughly so we got a lot of bugs in production but as i said that might be the reality of a job you might get as well that things are not as structured but yes, the last couple of months were very stressful because we were also under a heavy deadline or a tough to, to reach deadline. We almost reached it. We were like 15 days over, which uh, was extremely crazy that we actually achieved that. But we had to work Saturdays also. Of course, they were compensated, so that was good. But it was very, very stressful in the first couple of months. That's maybe a thing that could happen to you as well in your first job that you get a, a deadline that you have to reach, which is different than if you're a self-taught programmer you have the time you give yourself so you're a little bit more pressured on your code that's the thing that can happen to you as well so before we end the video one thing that really interests would interest me is if you write your experience for your first job what you had if it was a similar experience to mine or way more organized or totally different in the comments below i would be really interested to uh, hear your stories other than that, if you want to see more videos like that or what I also do is uh, tutorials about React, React and Next.js and all of kind of in this front end development environment, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.